Hi, good morning. I'm Nathan Clark. I'm coming to you from Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. I'm going to do a walk around on the brand new 2023 Numar Ventana 3709. I'd like to start from the outside. I've got the awnings out. We've got the dual Gerard awnings with the bifold. They also have a wind sensor on them. So if the winds get too gusty, like we're about to get, uh, they can go in on their own. But once we get to the bay door, I'll show you how to bring them in from the outside. I'd like to start at the front here. You have a 100 gallon gas tank. You can fill it on both sides. Makes it easy, especially when you're going to the gas station. Truck stops are generally gonna have a gas uh, filler on both sides. Inside the front bay compartment here, you actually have a 110 outlet up there on the wall. If you ever need to add any accessories, you can also uh, order them from our parts department or from Numar. Got a Samsung and a soundbar. Back in this bay, you also have the optioned in bay slider tray. Benefit to this is you can actually pull the, pull the trays out to you so you don't have to reach underneath the coach. You can bring them all the way out so that you can access different things on the inside. Another slide tray. Pretty decent size, so you can actually put like chairs and beach chairs and camping equipment, anything you might need, might want. Inside this bay, there's also a couple little white components here. These are actually controls for your Gerard awnings. I'm gonna go actually bring those in because we've actually got some gusts of wind. I like to make sure that I take care of them myself. They're both indi individual. The nice thing about these is you can actually bring them out. You can stop them. If there's a tree in the way, you don't have to bring the slide all the way out. There is also a light bar on the bottom of each one. So when you're sitting outside watching TV underneath your awning, you actually have a little bit of lighting at night as well. The cork board here, this is going the pegboard, it's actually going to be right in front of the 105 gallon freshwater tank. A lot of times you can actually put little little pegs in there to hold tools and and what have you over in that department. Another storage compartment. It is lighted in the inside. And you can adjust that based on whether you want it on or off when you're out there at night. In the back, got your coach batteries. You've also got some accessible filters. Just makes it user friendly to get to everything. Now with this Ventana, it is a diesel pusher. It is a 6.7 6 liter Cummins diesel engine. It's got 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. Accessible fuel checks and also for your air filters right back over here. It does have a 10,000 pound towing capacity. It is also set up with the air brake system down here below. You do have two different cameras. One so you can keep an eye on your vehicle in tow. And you also have another one when you're backing up, get a full surround view. This compartment in the back, it is lighted as well. Right up above here, you've got the Truma AquaGo hot water on-demand water, water system. Compartment in here, you've got your power reel. It is actually a power retract manual pull. You have a little cable switch inside here 
So if you do get it to a campground that has free cable, you can actually plug it in there. You do also have a 110 outlet up here as well. With your diesel engines, you have a 13 gallon DEF, diesel exhaust fluid reservoir. And also to keep your sewage hoses out of the other compartments, you actually have a place to put them right in here. All right, here's your water bay. You've got water filtration system for the entire unit. You also have your freshwater hoses on an electric reel. Manual pull out, electric re retract. You got your black and your gray water tanks drain. You also can open up this bottom piece right here. So you don't have to, you can have your, your bay door closed and you have your sewage hose below. Kind of keeps things cleaner. You have a hot and cold water shower out here and your low point drains. You also have all of your instructions are etched onto the aluminum, so they're not going to peel off or fade. Kind of nice fit and finish with Numar. You also have your fresh water fill. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, your, your flush valve for your black water tank. A uh, nice thing about that is it keeps cleaning your sewage system a little bit cleaner, so you don't have to get involved. It's a dirty job, but A little bit extra space in the back of that slide tray. And these lighted as well. Golf clubs, you know. This is probably where I'd put my golf club. You can probably put his and hers on there. Nice thing about having a slide tray that opens on both sides is that you don't always have the same amount of space on both sides of the coach. So if you need to get something out of there, say you parked, at a uh, rest stop or something, you actually can open it up and get to what you need to. The chassis batteries, and you've got a 32 gallon fuel uh, liquid propane tank. Now, one thing that I didn't point out is on the chassis batteries, you can actually pull these two pins and this will, this will slide out so you actually can have easy maintenance if you need to get to anything and switch out batteries. Here's your other fuel tank, Phil, from the other side. Here's your electrical department here. Inside here is our 8,000 watt diesel generator. It will, it will actually power up everything inside the coach. And it is lighted as well. You do have a hot water faucet. And I'll be shutting that down here. You can also shut it down from the inside of the coach as well. We'll come on the inside. Now I have all the slides in just so you can have a kind of general idea what, uh, how much room there is inside with the slides. When you're cruising down the highway, sometimes people want to access the kitchen or watch TV or <clears throat> use the bathroom or the... It is kind of narrow here at this point. However, the pocket door allows you access inside. There we go. And I also want to show you that you can get all the way back here to the bedroom without pulling slides out. I'm going to start pulling out the slides so we can actually show you how much room these vehicles have, or this vehicle has.
pretty easy operation. You've got a control back here in the back. You also have the silver leaf control on the wall where you can actually control the, all the lights at one time. Nice thing about this feature, this is brand new for 2023, whereas 2022, you had to go to each individual light switch to turn them on. You basically press one button and it goes on. Now I'm gonna move to the front here. There we go. Gracefully. Pull these slides out here. You always want to make sure that your driver's seats and your passenger seats aren't in the way of the slide rooms. Now press and hold them. Very simple, very easy. Numar has the only slide room that actually sits into the floor. With the Ventana, you have carpeting underneath your theater seating and your dinette. Let me introduce you to the inside of the coach. This is going to be one of the smaller bath and a half coaches available. Nice, one of the things that brought this one to my attention is the fact that it has a fireplace on the inside. You also have your televator against the wall there. Uh, that it's actually uh, controllable. There we go. Just press a button. You've got a ton of counter space there. Now with that 32 gallon propane tank, you also have your propane stove with three burners. Up above, you've got a convection microwave. Takes special skills to learn how to bake these because you're actually teaching yourself all over again how to use a different type of oven. But once you get it figured out, it's pretty easy. Up above here, you have a dual basin sink under the countertop and a residential style faucet. Stainless steel is always easier to clean than most. And then when you cover these all up, you have a ton of counter space as well. What I'd like to do is show you inside the compartments. Nice thing about Newmar is Newmar puts the carpeting inside the compartments so that things don't move around when you're going down the road. This is your audio vid visual uh, compartment here. You do have two 110 outlets over there, USB plugs for your TVs. You also have a sound bar up above. More compartment space. A little place for your controllers. Nice deep compartments. You can also adjust the height of the shelves if you need to. Inside this compartment, we actually have your owner's manuals. The owner's manuals are going to be for each appliance in the coach. On a slide out drawer. A 
Let's go back down over here by the fireplace. You have more shelving. Fantastic fireplace. There we go. Turn it on and off here. It does produce heat. Got a little drawer underneath the stove. We actually have your, when the power is on, you actually have your dishwasher. I have all the controls for the TVs, for the awnings, for the sound system. Everything's in here. There's also some paint, uh, touch up paint. Got a few different components as well. This is actually used to tighten your water filter in order to loosen it and change it. A place for all your scrub brushes to clean your sink in your kitchen. Down below, you actually have a place to put your trash can. Nice sizable under the counter storage. And then of course a cutlery, cutlery drawer. One thing that's nice about the Numar is they put water control over here just in case you spill something on your countertop. You're not spilling it all across your coach. You actually can keep it confined to the kitchen area. Inside this little pocket door here, you got your toilet. Open up some compartments inside here. You got your power control up above here. This is going to be where all your uh, breakers are. If something's not working, the first thing you want to do is you want to check your breakers, make sure that they haven't tripped. Lots of shelving in the bathroom. More shelves. Medicine cabinet. Pretty deep. And it's also got carpet in there as well. You have a 110 outlet in the bathroom. I do have a paper towel in there just in case any of the uh, winterization antifreeze happens to drip. Got a paper towel holder or a towel holder. You also behind the door here, you actually have a toilet paper holder. Nice and compact. Back to the bedroom, we have a king size bed. Underneath the king size bed, you have storage. On each end table, you have a 110 outlet, or two 110 outlets. Now up above, in the storage compartments, on the corner pieces, each one has a port to put lines through. So if you do have like a CPAP or something, you can actually bring the power line in to connect it down here. Or if you want to keep the power cable up above, you've also got 110 outlets up inside the. Let me hop over the other side there. Each side of the bed has the same amount of space for storage. And each side of the bed does have that port to plug in to bring. Uh, hoses down or power lines down. Down below on each side of the bed, you also have a little storage compartment. Inside here, you have closet space. 
with your clothing rod. And you also have another Samsung TV. There's also an emergency exit on this window. You can also open it up if you want a little bit extra v breeze while you're hanging out in your bedroom. All right, so let's talk about drawer space. You've got audio visual compartment down here with a, with a adjustable shelf. Your drawers are very deep. You got a pretty good solid latch up to make sure they stay closed when you're going down the road. Come on back to the bathroom. We did option in the Splendid washer and dryer, stackable. Now with this one, you also have your toilet over here. We also have the emergency exit door. Nice thing about this, a lot of people use it to stock their coach rather than uh, use it as an emergency exit. What you've got here is you've got, you open it to the world right there. Inside the little compartment down there, there's an actual ladder. If you pull that little tab there, you can fold down the ladder if you need to climb out. The reason why it's so easy to, to stock your coach is you don't have to climb up your stairs forward and backward. I like the way this is set up. It's really bright and easy, accessible. You do also have a big medicine cabinet here, a lot deeper than the bathroom. And it is carpeted as well. Over on this side, it does have a hinge in the door so you can open it in this narrow space, but you do also have your safe in the back there. Nice linen closet additional closet space. And also more storage space down below. Inside the shower, we have the shower miser, aqua view, hot water system. You don't have to use the water until it's ready to use. We've also optioned in the uh, the sink here, uh, the seat here. If you need to take care of other business, people use to shave their legs. You've got an adjustable height on your shower. You also have a shower up above. Quite a bit of room inside. I'm six feet tall, and I've got an additional I don't know, maybe another six inches. Also does have a lock here for the doors so when you're going down the road, they're not going with you. Underneath the sink, lots of space. Long drawers, his and hers. Come on through. Whirlpool residential refrigerator. And a pretty spacious freezer. Does have water filtration system inside of it. And ice and water down below. 
on the table here, this is actually a sleeper dinette. Nice thing about this is I put down the cushion underneath the table here and remove the arm, push it straight down, but we've got to have these little guys up here first. I'm going to push those in. Put that there. This one here. So it doesn't catch on the seat. Push it straight down. Then you put these guys back in. And then you put the center cushion. And you've got a bed. Get the little sconces on. Two theater seats. I could probably find myself here in the RV. You could probably find me here in the RV on the theater seat as well. Very comfortable. You also have USB plugins on each control. Inside, there is a ton of storage. If you take a look inside there, you can put snacks, drinks, tray, cup holders. Up above, there's additional storage. Also, on the wall there, you have a couple 110 plugins as well. Coming up to the front. Inside this compartment above the driver, you have some of your electrical components. This tells you where your power supply is coming from. Got your droid awning controls. Your wine guard satellite system. You can also put your awnings uh, in and out from this position. These are going to be your front two slides. And then this one's going to show you whether your battery is charging, what you've got on your uh, battery system, and you also all your setup for the uh, power. You also have another 110 outlet up above. Above the drivers, you also have another Samsung TV. You also have a little bit of additional storage up above here. On the passenger seat, it is a wide seat. You also have an additional table, so you can actually use a laptop while you're sitting there. And you also have charging stations on each side of the driver. Actually, no, you have, have just your charging station on the passenger side. It's cordless. You also have a step cover here. Nice thing about Numar is if you have a pet or you have small children, this little step cover will keep them from falling in. And you can also support weight on it. So if little, little guys are running around or puppies are running around, they don't have to worry about getting, or you don't have to worry about them getting hurt, falling into that little step well. Uh, this is set up on a Spartan chassis. You actually have A six-speed Allison transmission, and your controls are here, over here on the left. You have automatic leveling. You also have an engine brake. You have a, when it's on, it'll actually give you a little bit better stopping capability without having to use your brake. It'll actually slow the vehicle down significantly. These are back, backup battery controls. For your house, anything that has to do with the RV, for your chassis, anything that has to do with the engine. There is an air horn. Nice thing about that is 
get your attention really easily. This does have the comfort steer when you're steering. Let it go, it brings it back to the center position. I'm not saying let go of your steering wheel when you're driving down the road, but this actually makes steering much easier. You also have your cruise control over here on the left. The headlights on and off. Your power mirrors. You adjust the mirror that you want to, you point to the mirror you want to adjust, and then you use these arrows to adjust. This red light is going to be a defrost for your mirror. Inside on this chassis, being the Spartan chassis, you've got a few different, op uh, f few different controls. You can adjust your tilt right here. You have your cell phone. You can pick up and hang up. Windshield wipers. You have your home mode and your back mode. You can actually control what you see in your controls just by the by a touch of a button. You get your backup camera and your regular camera view. Now I'm not in reverse right now, so you actually this is the camera view that you see. On your radio You've got navigation. You go back to your menu. You've got all your controls. You can control your cameras. So you can control your rear view, top rear. So you have full surround view. You have visors. When your engine's on, it won't let you go any lower than that. Kind of a safety system. Full light out. It'll do the same. You have your gen start from here. Nice feature about that is you can actually turn it on if you wanted to run the air conditioning while you're driving down the road. It gives you additional power. You got your high-low, medium engine brake. So you, if, I like to keep it on high. Um, if it's low, sometimes it's not as noticeable. Uh, if I'm going to actually use the engine brake, I like to be able to let it do what it's supposed to do. You have overhead fans. Uh, just additional defrost, air conditioning controls. Well, you can control your views of what you see in your camera from this button down here. That's just about it. Well, my name is Nathan Clark. My phone number is 719-660-3566. If you have any additional questions on anything that you saw today or anything else in our inventory, please give me a call. And also click on the banner down below. Thank you very much.